Hello again Struck Club, today I'm bringing you another build video for most the Gunner in Borderlands 3. This one is again centered around the mech Iron Bear and instead of using uh, dual railguns like my previous one I decided to try and make a setup centered around dual miniguns. This time I picked exploding rounds because I like splash damage and I found an interesting setup that maybe you would like. It's spending uh, heavily on the green and blue tree, but it is not getting any specific capstone because we are getting some points into the orange tree as well. Um, you can see the damage probably is not as good as my other Iron Bear build, but uh, just to compare it, here's a tremendous rex skill. Just so you can see, I didn't start uh, the mech right away, so probably if I started the mech right when the boss started, I would have had enough fuel to last me until the end. And actually it's not the fuel that gets me, it's the damage, because I didn't move, I decided to see if I can tank all the hits and keep getting healed with Vampire. This kill of Tremendous Rex was done with the Raging Bear mod, but most of the damage that I I'm showing you here in the intro is with the Blast Master. So both mods are viable. I didn't have good rolls on either the Raging Bear or the Blast Master. You would see more about that in the gear segment of the video. But I would be making sure that when I'm using Blast Master, you're able to see that uh, Blast Master is used, and when I'm using uh, Raging Bear, you would see something uh, written there on the screen that Raging Bear is used for that certain footage. So you would have some idea. Both mods are good, and I guess it's good to carry uh, one of each uh, for certain cases. Raging Bear would be a better mod once it gets fixed because uh, at the moment uh, the damage bonuses uh, are not applied and I also heard some things about certain other mod skills not working properly currently so once this is fixed and once some of the Guardian rank perks are fixed everything would be amazing for this build. So stay tuned, I hope you enjoy my suggestions for the skills and for the gear and that you have fun playing the build. Skills wise, this build invests into the green tree, into the blue tree and just a little bit into the orange tree. So when it comes to shield of retribution we just wanna get these experimental munitions. You can try and experiment without it but I think it's definitely worth getting it. So I decided to go for 5 points here but uh, maybe you can experiment with 4 points here and 1 point in security bear because this shield might be worth it. Even though vampire gives you a world of regeneration so probably you don't need to go that route. And I decided to just get 1 point into drowning in brass and 4 points into vad of ingenuity. Then that unlocks experiment munitions. If you want to spend 1 point here more to get that maxed out shield and shock damage resistance you would have to sacrifice one point from this skill tree which probably could be taken from vampire I think you don't need that many but it is uh, always nice to have uh, some points here for extra faster healing so I'm gonna quickly go through the rest of the skills but first of all I'm gonna remove the class mod and I was using uh, two class mods uh, for this uh, demo Actually I can't remove the class mod but uh, hopefully you can see what we've got here. So here we've got 5 points, here we've got 3 points with 2 from the mod. Uh, so those are maxed out, this is maxed out, just 1 point uh, more is needed, 3 plus 1 plus 1 to unlock this and then 5 points here and then I've decided to stop with specialist pair. I didn't uh, think... Uh, I would benefit much from this magazine size unless I'm using only the bus master mod and even when I'm using the bus master mod I'd rather spend those points into more splash damage more incendiary damage and things like that I only put one point here due to the diminishing returns max this one out for the fuel drain and fuel returned max this one out uh, for the bonus incendiary max this one out for the ammo and grenade again on this one I've placed zero points because I heard the iron bear damage from this one does not apply and I tested it and it really does not apply and until this is fixed uh, for now the only thing that we would get from this is armor and fuel 
if you want armor and fuel go ahead remove some points uh, from other places put them but this iron bear damage for now is not working that's why probably the bus master for now is better than using something like uh, uh, raging bear raging bear would be a great mod when this is fixed and i heard that things that reduce the cooldown like this and this do not work uh, very well as well so we're, uh, we're we're gonna have to see how it works um, some people say that putting points into this one is not worth it because it doesn't proc I cannot confirm this myself so I decided to just uh, avoid it for now and place 3 points here to max this one out and 5 points to max this one out and when I'm using bus master this goes all the way up and I just decided to get 1 point here so the bus master mod I was using was uh, nothing too fancy it was actually a very bad one but it was the only one I had so uh, I'm gonna go more into detail what the preferred roles are, but I guess most of you know what uh, what is needed. But this was the mod I was using for the Blast Master. So uh, the first part of the video would be with this mod, then the second part of the gameplay demo would be with uh, the other mod I had on. Gear-wise, uh, I decided to first show you the things at the bottom and then go into detail about the weapons for whomever might. Uh, interested i had very very bad relic so this is this was my best relic on this character i could have probably gotten a better one if i looked into some of my other characters and some of my mules but this is what i was using snow drift victory rush ideally i would suggest going for some sort of victory rush maybe but not uh, not a snow drift i mean you can try and get a snow drift victory rush it's not a bad combo to give you that extra mobility but uh, what you would need is uh, things like extra splash damage or AOE damage, cooldown reduction uh, and maybe maybe you can get incendiary damage because we do extra incendiary damage or you can get grenade damage or magazine size but I think magazine size is better on the mod because I think on the mod it can give 40% and here it can give 25% but cooldown reduction definitely try and get cooldown reduction here and definitely try to get either aoe or splash damage which unfortunately cannot stack together victory rush is uh, great for mobbing uh, not so great on bosses unless the bosses have phases where they spawn badasses and many of the new bosses do especially in the raid so maybe for the raid this would be great when it comes to the grenade this is what i was using murph taki or hex uh, it's slightly less strong than the uh, recurring hex because it has one less explosion but you can get any good uh, grenade like uh, gastco or stormfront or or um, uh, firestorm or uh, quasar grenade any grenade with a good anointment uh, for me a good anointment would be something like this one on grenade thrown weapon grenade and action skill damage are increased by 25 percent for six seconds or something like this while well, iron bear is active taking damage has 20 percent chance to spawn a grenade this would go very well if you find the gust call especially if it's a roided one with uh, with this bonus or if you can find the recurring cryo or or shock hex uh, that gives you this bonus uh, uh, recurring or murph taki or if you can't find i only have a murph one with this bonus so yeah think, um, think about it there's other things that give you extra bonus damage on action skill end but uh, that's not gonna happen that often so i'd rather you get something like this anointment so for the shield anything that gives you an action skill uh, end cooldown is uh, increased by 20 percent things that i tried for this was just the hot food stop gap this was what was used but uh, some good mentions would be a transformer if you can get one and this one on action skill and bonus fire damage is not bad but i'd rather go for the extra cooldown something that's worth it uh, is uh, this uh, on on exiting iron bear 75 percent increased shields and health for 25 seconds if you find yourself dying a lot and you don't need that faster cooldown this might help you this shoot might be fun to try out but i didn't get one with an anointment uh, uh, I got this one, but uh, I don't think the rectifier would be good. I think any shoot with good capacity would be nice. See, extra bonus shock damage again, as I said, on action skill went would not happen that much. But try and get a high capacity shield, uh, preferably with action skill cooldown. Uh, for weapons, needless to say, a Fwacker would always be good for anything that is splash damage oriented build. Fwacker, 
Juliet's Dazzle is a new weapon, it only drops on Mayhem 4 from Aurelia, so if you feel like farming it, uh, it's not a bad uh, weapon at all. Uh, additionally, you can try using a Cutsman, always good for sparse damage builds, and Alchemist. The Alchemist goes very well with the Blastmaster. If you get a good Alchemist, if you manage to unvote the, the magazine and then revote, all of those explosions would do shit tons of damage uh, from the sticky grenades of the Alchemist. Another alternative to the Alchemist would be a Tribote. Tribote is also a good so a good option. Uh, anything with splash damage in general would be good, like Roizen Stores or Packing Devastator, Shocking Trip Away. Maybe even you can try and do a Chuck Build. TD or Chuck Build would not be a bad option as well, if you feel like it. Now, uh, what else uh, with, with splash damage could I suggest? Something like Keyword the Wisp or Trevenator, Boring Gun, Rocket Launchers of any sort. And for Blastmaster, a great combo is the Vicious Ogre. This has a huge magazine size, Spider Me. It has a huge magazine size. And uh, it definitely is worth picking up. Uh, even if you're not using the Blastmaster, I do like it with the splash damage build, especially if you get something with a good anointment, unlike me. If you're not using Blastmaster and uh, decide to go for the Raging Bear, and mind you, my Raging Bear mod that I was using was this one. So nothing too fancy, actually, reward speed, grenade damage and action skill cooldown. Ideally, this would have 3 points into this skill. 3 points into this skill and maybe 2 points into this one. When, Or maybe actually 2 points into this one. Uh, so the options for this mod, as you can see, are uh, are those two skills. Uh, this one, this one, and this one. So I'd like uh, more points into deadlines until stainless steel bear is fixed. When stainless steel bear is fixed, I'd probably go for two points here and uh, three points here or the other way around. Uh, maybe I would try and go three or four points here and one point into this one. Uh, it would depend. It would depend uh, what is the better option, but I prefer having 3 points here and 2 points here, I guess. Uh, so yeah, try and get action skill cooldown rate, maybe some grenade damage, but definitely get uh, splash damage or area of effect damage. Even if there isn't grenade damage, you need action skill cooldown rate and preferably the area of effect or splash damage. So yeah, Juliet's Dazzle, great, this is great, a lot of splash damage guns are great, find your preferred weapon, test it out, see how it works, and if you like it, uh, let me know which one is your preferred option. I hope this was clear enough. And when the Guardian rank uh, perks are fixed, this would uh, be a very very strong setup as well, together when uh, the Iron Bear things are fixed. When it comes to playing the build, I've got uh, some footage with me playing it with the Blastmaster class mod and then after that, uh, closer to the end of the video, some more footage of me playing it with the Raging Bear. It's not that difficult, it's simple, just enter the mech and use those big fucking guns and shoot those enemies. Once you're out of the mech, pick a good explosive uh, splash damage weapon, basically most torque weapons like Flucker, Tribot, Alchemist, uh, even pistols like uh, Roizenstorn or the Devastator, laser spawners, like anything, anything that's Torque uh, would give you some explosions, or maybe something that's like a mixture between Torque and Vladov, which is one Shrekovagan, which is the Ogre. It's a great weapon. And uh, speaking of new weapons, the the Roizen, not the Roizen Storm, but the Juliet's Dazzle that drops on Mayhem 4 from Aurelia, the Valkyries or Votan, uh, is a great uh, choice of weapon as well. I did find uh, shit tons of damage on the Flacker and it is uh, something that works great. If you do like a shoot grenade, shoot grenade or things like that with the Flacker, I think it might be the best option. An alchemist also shouldn't be underestimated, uh, especially against flesh enemies. If you shoot all those bullets and then reload, that's gonna be shit tons of damage to the boss. It might be good for bossing to use an alchemist together with the Blastmaster mod. The ogre is amazing with the Blastmaster, not as good with the Raging Bear mod, but still decent damage uh, due to all the splash damage we are stacking. 
I did not try using Devastator, Roizen Storms and some of the other weapons that uh, I've mentioned. I didn't even try the tri-boat even though I prefer prepared one. But uh, it definitely is not so bad to play. The footage you're seeing is on Mayhem 3 with 70% elemental damage. So it won't be as strong when you're playing on Mayhem 4. I do think my other mech build might be a bit better but this is a fun version as well and it is not so bad and you can keep the uptime of iron bear kind of decently not so bad and you can survive a lot by all those fast explosions uh, from the mech uh, exploding rounds healing you you can also try using rocket pot uh, or maybe dual rocket pots like if you don't take the skill that gives you 25 percent weapon damage for the for the iron bear when you're using two of the same weapon, you can try using a machine gun, a minigun with a rocket pot. Maybe the rocket pot that increases the damage taken or maybe the one with the fast reward. There's a lot of options that are worth testing out and uh, the build, the way it's set up uh, allows for some f flexibility when it comes to weapons you can pick. And when you're in the mech you can see if you stay at one place, maybe the mech might get destroyed when focused by a lot of enemies. Uh, it did happen to me once against the Vantas here. The mech got destroyed in seconds because I was staying in one place and focusing someone instead of killing the little guys first and they just kept shooting those corrosive uh, projectiles. Things like... Uh, Cutsmen are not bad as well, so splash damage weapons like the Cutsmen are also great for this uh, build as you can see against this badass it's not doing uh, bad uh, amounts of damage. And this is with the Blast Master mod. Later on you would see some more footage uh, with the other mod, with the Raging Bear. Rocks uh, are sometimes a problem, but with this build, uh, when I switched to Raging Bear, it wasn't that difficult to deal with them. Uh, sometimes with the Ogre, it was quite easy to deal with them as well. And if you have a Cryo Hex, uh, it's great for maps like this. Uh, sometimes you might want to prefer a Shock uh, Hex as well. The Cryo is not bad because it uh, doesn't have that much of a damage reduction against certain uh, enemy types such as the armored ones. It actually does bonus damage against armor, not as much uh, as corrosive but it uh, deals decent damage. So here is me changing my mod, so you can see from which bad mod to which other bad mod uh, roles I'm switching. So definitely not min max gear. And here's the ogre with uh, the raging bear. Still not uh, bad damage. And with that reward speed, not reward speed, but with that fire rate and with uh, the ammo regeneration, definitely nice. And here's the Fwacker. Pretty good damage and in a moment you're gonna see a nice hit like 48,000 or something on this uh, one shocking jobber. Or maybe that's later, yeah. Uh, now it should be some dead SS with the mech. Now you're gonna see the damage when we're taking damage, it should be more. Currently we are not taking that much damage, but I think we did reach those 40% damage stacks. And when they fix uh, the stainless steel bear, and uh, when they fix the guardian ranks, uh, this mod might auto damage the blast master. So I'm gonna try and uh, see how it will be and when they would fix those skills, but currently I think the blast master auto damages the raging bear. For the raging bear, first you have to be taking damage for that extra up to 40% increased damage then with stainless steel bear you can get a lot of damage uh, when you stack skill points like 3, 4 or 5 points into the skill itself from the class mod, uh, from the raging bear class mod so it's gonna be strong but uh, at the moment it isn't as strong as it can get once the bugs are fixed so here's Juliet's Dazzle with the Raging Bear. I do actually like this weapon, it's not as strong but I do like the way it, uh, it behaves, its mechanics. So now some Ceratops, even though they're armored and we're not doing corrosive damage. And they're dying pretty quickly. I wish there was a corrosive version of the 
a minigun or a, or a way to convert some of the incendiary damage into corrosive that would have been amazing because most get shit, shit tons of incendiary damage so having an option to convert this into corrosive or percentages of it converted into corrosive would be nice of course there are other versions of the minigun but I do prefer exploding rounds for that splash damage to be able to heal ourselves with vampire uh, by using the splash damage on iron bear or most with grenades and splash damage the damage is definitely not bad especially when we are getting hit and especially on fleshed enemies on on non armored or non shielded enemies maybe shielded enemies would be the most difficult to deal with but I think the build would be fun especially for mobbing Maybe not as strong again, I'm gonna say it, not as strong as the other with the dual railguns, but definitely worth giving it a shot. So here's again some more badasses. Up close and personal. And then in a moment we're gonna see some more gameplay with some guns and then some more gameplay against uh, enemies with the uh, iron bear so again Juliet's dazzle against the weak uh, little enemies it's pretty nice Later. and the bullets rebound so if you shoot in the ground it's gonna rebound upwards uh, ricocheting kind of off of the walls or the floors so here against uh, a manticore that's armored and this weapon can drop in cryo mine mind you didn't have cryo on it but it still shoots cryo so that's something to keep in mind as well and yeah it's definitely not a bad gun but when there's a uh, vantas i'd strongly suggest because uh, they cluster up a lot i strongly suggest switching to a flacker it's much faster to do damage and deal with uh, groups and clusters of those monsters when you have a uh, flacker instead of uh, dazzle I didn't try many machine guns, I did try only the Dictator for one enemy that was kind of immune to incendiary it was flaming uh, or burning uh, Jabber or whatever it was so uh, I didn't include this footage because it was just one kill and here it is against some of those uh, flying enemies with the machine guns, with the miniguns again using the Raging Bear a bit difficult to deal with them sometimes but you, they do have some sort of behavior when they charge uh, towards you so if you get uh, used to that it's not uh, difficult as long as you see their pattern of flying and attacking I did get close to getting uh, booted out then I started shooting at uh, some of the little guys to get some splash damage to heal me so Pay attention to that. Uh, if there's little guys around you, you can deal a lot of splash damage to multiple enemies if they're clustered up and quickly heal yourself. And here is gonna be an interesting part. I'm just gonna stand still, let some enemies come close to me and just keep shooting to see if I can survive. And spoiler alert, I did survive. So this one tries to come next to me, it, it doesn't uh, reach, then there's a charging rock, but I'm shooting at the vicious jabber. And then there's gonna be another enemy charging me up close, uh, which I'll deal with this Manticore. So there we go, this one's killed, then the Jabber from afar. And I'm getting booted out soon, so I'm just uh, pushing through. There's a Spider and Emperor, which would have to be finished. And here it is me getting booted out and finishing the rest of the enemies with a bit of Whacker shooting. So, I do like the build and I hope you do like it as well. It is definitely fun for me, it is definitely not uh, something too bad. And for certain difficulties, for certain map mods, uh, it's nice. Of course, it's maybe better when you're doing uh, content where the enemies are mostly flesh enemies. So, some of the trials would be fun to try with this mod. Uh, I'm not sure how it will be against uh, shielded enemies, but you can see against armored enemies it's not that bad. The only reason why I get booted here is I'm testing how I can keep my health up uh, by getting hit constantly. 
I just I just see, seem to have taken a lot of damage at once by not moving but by not avoiding damage which boots me right before killing the tremendous Rex but then I just finish him off with a flacker shot and some grenades so thank you folks for watching this video if you've enjoyed it and uh, you want to be notified about future uploads of Borderlands 3, Torchlight Frontiers and maybe Chaos Bane content updates uh, you can subscribe to my channel and hit the bell button to make sure you get the notifications and you can let me know whether you liked or disliked the video by hitting the corresponding buttons and I would also appreciate to let me know in the comments uh, what you like or don't like so I can make sure to improve my content with the future updates. Thanks again everyone for tuning in. Until next time, keep it cool and uh, have fun. Goodbye.